What's up gamers, today I'm going to show you where the golden chest locations are at. Now, chances are when you spawn into the game, you spawn over there where I did, or possibly over here towards the middle, or even over here on the right. Now, what we're going to use for our landmark is that structure right there. There's kind of a big boulder, like a slab, leaning over on another tall one. And uh, that's where that's going to be our landmark, so I can show you where all these are. So this right here is the starting area, and we are going to head over to the landmark, which is pretty much the exact middle of the map, and it's also where I built my, uh, my base. Okay, we've made our way to the landmark. This is what it looks like. Like I said, it is in the beginning of the map, and I'm going to climb up to the top so you can kind of get your your bearings going all right so as you can see that's the starter area i have my space shuttle over there that's where i landed we have that really massive ship structure up there and then just behind me that's my base but there's also this uh, smaller shuttle right there and then over there you have like the aluminum fields and then a cave entrance over there for larger ship so that's kind of the layout of the map now to get the first golden chest do you see that really big like structure right there the rock structure we're going completely straight from here from this landmark and we're just gonna go straight to that back wall and that's where the first one's gonna be all right and here it is um we do have sandstorm going on right now but this is a golden chest i'm gonna show you what one of them has inside it you have these um little sh like figures here you have these plants that give 600 percent oxygen you got some iridium rods uranium rods which is super end game loot and uh, that's the first one that's what it looks like just to the left of my landing zone and with that big rock structure now the next one is going to be on that structure so you can just run completely straight um, looks like I'm going to run out of oxygen pretty soon. I might make it because I have a building right there. But if not, you just want to make it from the landmark, which is over there. And just make it to that big structure right there. And it's going to be on top of it. And here we are. Like I said, I have a little building here. So I'm going to get some more oxygen. And then we're going to get the second chest. It is at the very top. And I usually just go around the right side to get there. You can go inside here and get some some pretty good loot, really. But if you go in here early on, uh, you, you're not going to be able to see because it's really dark in there. So let's just jump up here. Get on top. And it is kind of glitchy, like where you're walking. And here's the golden chest. It's just between all of these structures here. And I will show you this one. It has another structure and then some more really good loot. Next, chest number three. Again, we are on top of our landmark. There's my base. There's where the first chest was. The second chest was at the top of that. And the third one is over here. So you go from the second chest over to this cave. And you're going to see all of this like dust and dirt coming down. And we're going to go over to the entrance of it. And then uh, I'll show you where the third chest is at. As you enter the cave, you're going to see that big ship out there in the distance. We're just going to go on the inside, and then you're going to see this V-shaped rock. And then right behind it, you're going to see another rock just sloped up against a, uh, a, a small cliff, really. And it's going to be underneath it, so let's go take a look at it. So we're going to move up this little slope here. And just keep walking this way. You're going to see like a little tiny bridge over here. Just keep on going past that. And then this is the rock structure that you're looking for. It is going to be underneath it. So we just want to go around on the side. And keep jumping. You're going to down here in this little hole. And this is what we have. I'm going to take all of that stuff and take it back to my base with me. And deconstruct the golden chest. Which gave me another super alloy. Chest number four, this is probably the trickiest one. Again, we had chest one there, chest two up there, chest three in the cave, and chest four, you wanna head to that structure. Once again, there is my base, and you wanna head to that small ship back there. It is gonna be inside those big rocks. It's almost like a maze in there. So once I'm gonna head over there behind that ship, and then I'll show you how to get there. Now this one is kind of a pain to get to. Um, as you see, we have the wreckage there and then that's the entrance to the third chest that we have. You're gonna come over here and you're gonna see these really big tall rocks. You have a structure that almost looks like a bridge and then there's this one over here to the far right and then pretty much empty desert that way. You wanna come to this one that has a slanted metal structure and just follow the path that I'm gonna show you and then we're gonna keep heading uh, this way and almost hugging the wall here to the right and we should come up on some wreckage. keep on navigating through these corridors 
hugging the right. We're gonna go down this hill and then we're gonna take a, a little bit of a left. Once you come to this rubble and these weird looking rocks, you wanna take a left. And then a right. Now that you see all this um, wreckage, there's another ship that you can investigate over there. You just wanna head to the back wall. So we're just kind of lined up with that ship and we're gonna head this way. And like I said, you might have a little trouble early game grabbing some of these chests, and especially if you're oxygen. So make sure you bring some oxygen capsules if you if you can craft some, and then of course some water. Now that you're at this back wall, the gold chest is just gonna be on the back side here with this structure there. And I'm gonna take everything, another flower, and a, uh, a rocket engine. Now, honestly, if you grab a lot of these chests early on, you're pretty much set for the game. So if you want to just explore the game and play it as it should be played, um, I don't recommend grabbing these chests too early, maybe mid game once you hit the end game stuff. But it is up to you. Now for the next chest, we're heading back to our landmark. Now that the hard one is out of the way, we are going to grab chest five and six on this next run because they are pretty close together and they're actually really easy to get to. So just to get your bearings straight, I am on the landmark again, and uh, you should be familiar with the map by now. There's my building. We're just gonna head over here to the right with these tall, like grayish rocks, and that's pretty much the aluminum field. So just to the right of my base, we're gonna head this way, and then those structures over there was that last chest, a chest that we grabbed. What you wanna do is keep running to these two weird looking rocks. And then once you get on top of this hill, we're going to see a bunch of other rocks kind of in a ravine. And this is exactly what we're, what we're looking for. This one right here. Underneath it, you're going to see chest number five. So we're just going to jump down. And there it is. We're going to grab that. Take everything that it has. And for chest six, we're just going to keep moving on this way. You want to stick to the left side of these structures because the last chest or the sixth chest is going to be on the back side here and we're running out of oxygen so i'm going to use one of those so i'm just kind of hanging out here near the open desert and then these rocks to my right and we're going to go to the back area the best way to find this one is to of course find a landmark and then this structure right here is the best landmark that you can find it's kind of like a taller like bridge. It's got like a caved in area, but it's hollow on the back side. And we're just gonna go around to the back of it and you will find chest number six. Chest seven is pretty easy to get to, but it is a bit of a jog. Um, now that we're back here at our landmark, this is where our first chest was. The next one is gonna be down this way, just past where my spaceship is. We're gonna go through this big entrance over here and we just came from the aluminum fields over there. And of course, this is the main starter area. So we're going to head down this way. It is a pretty long corridor once you get here. Uh, just keep on running through it and you're going to find a bunch of tall, like spiky rocks. Once you exit the long corridor, you're going to see that the whole atmosphere is going to change to like a reddish orange color. And it's a little bit foggy and you're going to see all these spiky rocks. What you want to do next is just follow this wall here, this uh, rocky wall on the right side and just keep making your way down here until you see a metal structure that is pretty much leaning. Um, over here on the right, you do have a cave that's gonna have a bunch of ice on it and you're not gonna be able to access that cave until later on in the game and it'll just happen on its own. Now this is the structure that we are looking for and this is the tall rock that you want to head to and then the golden chest is gonna be right here. You are gonna have to have some extra oxygen if you wanna make it like I just showed you there. I only have 200-ish oxygen or 280 and I barely made that run. So make sure you're prepared for that. And that is where chest number seven is at. All right, time for the eighth and final chest. You may see um, a lot of differences in my world. That's because I had to play quite a bit to be able to reach this eighth uh, um, golden chest. And I'm at the point where the ice inside that cave has melted. And there is another way to get to this chest. If you don't want to wait until the ice melts, you have to go around this mountain and then into the sulfur fields. But it is easier this way if you just play throughout the game and uh, unlock it where the ice is melting. I do have the lake over here. 
And so that's why I said you don't want to build over here, otherwise you're going to be completely submerged in water. So to get the last chest, you just want to head this direction over here to the uh, cave where we found the uh, third one. Once you made your way into the cave, we're going to head back up this little slope onto the cliff. And then at the top, you should see what used to be a ice-covered um, cavern. It's uh, right over here. There used to be a whole ice wall here and most of mine's melted. There's just a little bit left, but I can go through it. And of course, if you don't have this ice melted, all of this is covering it. You can't go through here. So once you get the ice to melt and you come through here, the best way I can describe where to get this chest is you kind of look at that big wall and then right here where it ends, there's like a little opening there. You want to head over to that opening. Okay, we're coming up on it just now. You're gonna leave the sulfur fields. That back there is the cave that we just came from. So you just pretty much go a straight line and then you're gonna see this beautiful like sandy waterfall. And uh, it is absolutely breathtaking. It is one of the coolest things I've seen in the game in a while. Now, there is some stuff behind it and some secret caves that you can uh, go in there and get some good loot. But over on this rubble, all these rocks, you just wanna go in between it and then this will be your eighth and final chest and this is the loot inside i'm going to take it all and dismantle it this is a pretty far walk so make sure you bring enough oxygen so you can actually get this far or build a little building so you can refuel your oxygen anyways thank you guys so much for watching the video i hope it was helpful for you and if it was please think about dropping a like on this video it helps me out so so much and i appreciate it Thank you, and as always, I will catch you guys in the next one.